Hello and welcome back, everyone, to our deck showcase, technically. Uh, we're Magic the Gathering Tra deck showcase, yes. Yeah, we're back on Takas Trace in order to show off some modern decks. Um... I don't actually know what Cloud is running, although according to his text earlier, it might be the uh, the art the uh, blue white artifact build that he was talking about. Oh no, not not that one. I'm still testing that one. Uh, all right. And Gerda, I was telling. <laughs> I am running a uh, uh, I am running a uh, red white thing because Boros is the best colors. Boros can go screw itself. Boros is best colors. You you know what Boros spells? It spells boars. <laughs> Like yes, it does. Boar's light. <laughs> mm, all right. Holy shit, got nat 20. I win. Stop it. See? Stop it. <laughs> My six denies you. <laughs> and in the, name of, in the name of transparency, I am running a deck which I have long ago come to affectionately called Goblin Vokers, even though there are no cards in this deck that are Invoker cards anymore. Uh, I will keep. Uh, Mulligan one. <sighs> Control M, by the way. Oh, sorry. Do, do I get do I get a free Mulligan on the house? Because this actually is a playable hand. Mm, well, that's not a well. Uh, uh, all right, fine. Okay, one. Okay, so let let the record state that Rocket Rabbit has a house rule. You get one free Mulligan. You draw seven cards. But if you fail to get a playable hand, you have to draw again and draw one fewer card. Yes. Uh, the turn is the option is yours. You got the high roll. Mm -hmm. Uh, I will. I will go first. Nice. Mm, and I will start with a Marsh Flats. <sighs> hey, you said these were Boros colors. They are Boros colors. I am not impressed. See, that is a white. That, that is a Boros color. That is a white, but a swamp is dookie. Ending phase. The you have you have to pass to me. Thank you. Well, technically, you can press the button. I draw a card, and I'm gonna put a mountain down and tap one for faithless looting. Okay. I draw two. And then I discard two. Those two cards are going to be Dread Return and um, Diagraph Captain. I will end Ooh. my turn. So this is uh, so this is a Vamps then. No, it is not oh, Vamps. No. Uh, that you're you're thinking of Stromkirk Captain. Oh, right. I have to end my turn. Pass. Yeah, you made you, uh, you made me hit the button, so now you have to hit the button. So there. Well, we're all hitting the buttons now. Alright, uh, I'll put a Swamp, and then Vile Manifestation. Vile Manifestation, which for some reason I can't see right now. Hmm. Please explain to me what this card does. Alright, Vile, Manif Vile Manifestation gets plus one plus zero for each card with cycling in your graveyard. It's got cycling two, which allows me to discard it and draw a card. It is a zero four creature horror. Nice. All right, let's do this. Boom. Untap my stuff. Duh. I think I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I might have to keep digging. Uh, let's put a crumbling necropolis down. This produces my choice of blue, black, or red. And then I'm going to tap one to play another faithless looting. More loot. Looting the crap out of my deck. I am going to send to the graveyard Arcanus the Omnipotent and, um, shit. I think, I think I gotta put, oh, actually, this is a really tough one. I'm gonna put a swamp in the graveyard. Okay. And I will end my turn. Alright then. Mm, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna play a swamp. And these are Mardu colors, damn it! <laughs> no, ores off. <laughs> yeah, it's ores off. <laughs> hmm, I'm trying to think. Ding, 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 I am going ding, ding, ding. to uh, transmute my dimmer house guard. Okay. Sending it to the graveyard in order to search out. 
card with converted uh, mana cost three. Four, actually. Why Murderous four? Red cap. Why four? Oh, because 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 Dimmer has cards converted mana cost. Yeah. Damn it. It's okay. Four. And I will end. Nice. All right. Boom. Boom. Draw a card. Oh boy. Um. <laughs> Uh, he might be useful. Uh, let's see. Do -do. That that definitely is a move, but I think I need to put a swamp down and then tap three. Okay. <laughs> tap three to flashback one of the faithless lootings in my dra in my graveyard. All right. That faithless looting is now exiled, but I draw two and I discard two again. <laughs> I'm putting in a viscera dragger and um. Oh boy. I think I gotta put a crumbling acropolis in. And now I will end my turn. Okay. I, I'm digging deep. The card advantage will be all mine. No, or so you think. Alright. I'm gonna play I'm gonna play planes. Uh-huh. And then I will cast Murderous Red Cap and I will deal two damage to you. No. It begins. Yes, I could see the great arrow pointing. <laughs> and then I will end. Okay. Things are getting dangerous now. Ooh, all right. Uh, first, I'm going to put down Evolving Wilds. With Evolving okay. Wilds, I could tap and sacrifice it to move an island from my deck onto the battlefield tapped. And then I will tap two for the Nightscape Familiar. Okay. He's a 1-1 one, one zombie. As long as he's in play, my the blue spells and my red spells cost one less to cast. I also have the option to regenerate him for two, but I lack two mana to do that. It's a goblin electromancer. I will end my turn. Okay. Done. No, you it's your turn. Yes. <laughs> I think it's because I'm too used to manually untapping my shit because I simulate uh, 2v2 games by myself. I mean, 1v1. Okay. All right, I am going uh, to play Solemnity. Uh oh. Is it why? Why can't I see your cards? This is strange. This is strange. Uh, have you updated Diamond Cat yet? Probably not. I could see Murderous Red Cap just fine though. Please proceed. Yeah, because Murderous Red Cap is from um, uh, Eventide. All right, and I'll have Murderous Red Cap attack you. Ah, uh, I can't block it because I don't want to lose my zombies, so I lose two. All right, and I will end. All right. Can you kill me this turn, Mr. Cloud? No, I can't, but I can probably do some nasty stuff if I tried. Um, For example, Temple of the False God. Okay. This card produces two mana, but I can only use it if I control five or more lands, which I do. Which you do. Uh, first, I'm going to tap two. I'm going to I'm going to flashback my other faceless looting. There there is a point to this, by the way. That faceless looting uh, is now don't exiled. Tap three. I don't because my nightscape familiar discounts oh. my casting costs, and flashback is a form of casting. Okay. So I draw two again, and I discard two. Those cards are going to be wonder, and uh, terramorphic expanse. Okay, now that so now your nightscape familiar has flying. Now my nice gate familiar has flying because I control an island and wonder is now in my graveyard. Next, I'm going to tap three in order to cast Empty the Warrens. Okay. First, it creates two 1-1 one, one red goblin creature tokens, and then I copy the spell for every spell that I cast before it this turn. So I get four 1-1 one, one goblins. All right. These are my four goblins. I'm going to put counters on them to represent creatures. Okay. Uh, I am tapped. I'm basically tapped out. I can't attack because you got a defender. I'm gonna end my turn. All right then. Uh, can you please press the end turn button? Oh okay. <laughs> Pass. All right. I'm gonna play a swamp and then go for game. What? What? Really? I got 16 yep. life left. Yeah, and I have infinite damage. Oh, what the, cast what the fuck ideal. is this? Enchanted creature has flying, and it has sacrifice a creature. This creature gets plus two, plus one to land a turn. It's put in the graveyard. Return it to the, return it to its owner. Okay, so how do you how do you win? I, I don't All understand. Right. 
Well, you see, Fallen Ideal uh, uh, gives my uh, Vile Manifestation sacrifice a creature. Thing is, I can I can infinitely sacrifice Murderous Redcap here. Why? So, oh, because my Murderous Redcap has got Persist, remember? But I mean, your Persist only allows him to come back once, not forever. No, Why? When this creature dies, if, if it had no minus one, minus one counters on it, return it to the battlefield under the owner's control with a minus one, minus one counter. Uh -huh. Well, Solemnity. Player, uh, players can't get counters. Creatures can't uh, be... Uh, can't, uh, counters can't be put on artifacts, creatures, and enchantments, or lands. You gotta so, be kidding. You, got, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> so, so, when I sacrifice Murderous Red Cap, Then he comes back, he deals damage, he can lose power to me, and you can do that an infinite number of times. Um, yep. G, 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 I guess. I, I kinda wish I kinda wish I had updated Cockatrice, so I'm not getting killed by just random bullshit. Um, okay, I, I concede the game. Good game. Yeah, that's F2. I, I did it manually.